Hello everyone, I hope everyone is okay. Yeah, just a quick sound test to make sure that you can see and hear me. Um, I'm just gonna wait for people to kind of join in and everything. So today we're going to be making this and I'll be showing you this quite a few times, I think, as people join so they know what we're making. So please come along and say hi, use the chat. I'd love, I love the, the little chit chat that we have. I tried my best to keep my eye on the actual comments as well so I can keep up with everyone. So today we are going to be making the Trellis Editions die set and the Geometric Terrarium die set. Now you can get these um, separately but um, together um, they work perfectly as a bundle. So um, the Geometric Terrarium die set, this one was released a couple years ago and it's literally just the windows and the base and in our latest release I have brought in the trellis set for this it's absolutely stunning and I'm going to be showing you guys today exactly how to put it together so um, come and say hi make sure that you can hear me okay and um, you can see I think the lighting should be okay okay so let's get started right so just going to move this aside so this is what we're going to be making it today isn't this stunning I've got some wire lights in there as well I'm just going to turn those off because I want to save the battery okay so I've done some die cutting out already so this is these are going to be for the trellis and I have a couple of bits here already cut out so you're going to be needing five hi Shirley Hi Elizabeth, thank you for joining in. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the geometric terrarium die set first. So it's just the three dies, it does all the score lines, creates the windows for you, and it's basically um, these pieces here. I've got lots of pieces to play with, so I'm trying not to get mixed up, okay? So you need to die cut five of these ones I'm gonna pop these over there so you can kind of see where they are so five of those and you're also needing to cut five of those and this one here is the base you just need one of those and then moving on to the terrarium I'll show you all the dies in a moment so moving on to the terrarium now the trellis bits and bobs you get two designs here so you can have them all the same or you can mix and match. I'm going to be mixing and matching today and I'm actually going to be giving this present um, as a present today um, for my mother-in-law because she saw she saw this one last week and she loved it so I said I would make her one so this one is going to her and then I have a mix and match of these two trellises as well and again you need just as many of these as you do of the main windows okay and another thing that I've done this is the easiest way to get this die set together and that is to use some red tape here now if you're just joining in come and say hi I love to hear what you guys have uh, you know tell me about your week please do um, it's really nice to kind of just chill out on a Friday night so um, you can always go back on replay you haven't missed much at all I'm just going through the die cutting of what you need to be doing okay so what else I've done is I've added some red tape here which I used all up actually as you can see here I've used it all up I have to order some more the quarter inch but um, just red tape it's definitely the easiest way to get this together and I like to, I do like to let you guys know the best way which which sort of adhesive and which way to put things together because it's going to save you a lot of um, troubles if you kind of put something together that would work better with tape and you use glue and yeah basically let's make life easy okay so here is the geometric terrarium some of you might even remember this from the um the first release i absolutely love this one here it is so we get these main dies here so it does all of the cutting for you and the score lines everything there okay pop that aside now these ones are the trellises as well so you get all of these designs there we go so five five no five main triangles or diamond shapes so you can mix and match these or have them all the same and five of these so you can have them all the same or you can mix and match them like I've done okay same goes for the windows okay now have I missed anything out oh yeah 
and then these are all I just I like to show these I think these are so pretty I mean you could save these for um shaker cards and things like that if you wanted to these are quite large things to put in a shaker large pieces of confetti but these are basically just my off cuts or the inner bits that have come out of there definitely use a brush here to get those out this is the Sizzix one I haven't linked that one down below but I have linked most of the things that I'm using today these they're all going to be linked down below and there's international uh, postage as well in the UK it's free delivery over 30 pounds and if you look at their shipping uh, tab that they have there you'll find out basically if they offer um, like a threshold for free shipping in your area or in your country so check that out okay so where earth where on earth are we going to start so I have got a few things already done here so we can either pop this together as in join the things on but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start off is I'm going to pop these over the top here so I've already prepped my area here the tabs with the the red tape and now all I'm going to do is add glue you can pop these behind these fit exactly you can pop it behind but you will see a little you know the frame border or to make it seamless you can pop it on the top now the cardstock that I'm using is from creative expressions I think I have one more pack here here it is yes this is antique gold I've linked this down below I absolutely love this one because it's double-sided as well so especially as you're going to be seeing the inside here of the lantern hi so good oh, I can't remember your name you told me on Facebook I, it was in one ear and out the other but it's great for you to join us and she's making a gift bag yes we're all making things for other people so this is going to be for my mother-in-law because she saw this and she absolutely loved it and hi Sharon yes the trellis dies are new and she has this set from the original release okay so you can buy the trellis for this separately that is on the craft stash website if you click on any of the links down below it will take you straight to the area where you need to be but this is the trellis editions die set this one you can buy singly actually you can buy both of these singly so if you already have this one this is the only one that you need and it's literally just gonna jazz it up and give you a little bit more um i can't think of the word words are not my friend today words are never my friend when i film i don't know they just they just run off but anyways um they will give you so many more options to play with ah Audrey yes I hope everyone has had a good week the weather's been actually quite nice here actually this week so and another thing that's new is I've had I've had all of my hair cut off it's just above my shoulders now um, it wasn't a change that I was planning on doing um, as you may know I had Covid in December I took the whole month off um, and then I had in February all of my hair started to fall out and luckily I have lots and lots and lots of hair um, but it's basically related to having a really high temperature it's an illness that um, obviously comes with a really high temperature and basically you can google it there, there is a name for it but basically it cuts off your body decides to prioritize the blood circulation and it stops the blood circulation to like the hair follicle and it's it sort of puts it into the shedding phase so a couple months after you've had that now this it can't you know it's not just covid that can cause this it's um any any sort of illness with a high temperature or high stress um what else crash dieting as well that can cause it some sort of you know traumas and things it, it can all cause your body to prioritize things but anyways um, I probably lost around about a month's worth of hair in the space of two weeks and I've lost over half of my hair so I do have a few really thin areas but I um, went to my hairdressers yesterday and I said 
Neon, cut it all off. So that's exactly what he did. And um, yeah, he's been cutting my hair for at least around about 20 years now, I'd say. So he knows my hair really well. And, and um, yeah, straight away he was like, I, I arrived with my hair on a plait and yeah, he said he definitely you could make three or four of these plaits. <laughs> so that's how thin my hair was. Uh, luckily I've had it cut it into, into a bob and so just above my shoulders and it's really kind of hidden the thinness of it. It really has bulked it back up again so I'm feeling definitely more myself. So I've popped these all together so I'm now moving on to the, the pentagons. So if you've had like um if you've had COVID or any other sort of illness that's made your hair fall out, let me know. It's all great for this, you know, um, supporting each other and things. It's really not nice when it all starts to fall out, you know. But anyway, I'm seeing the positive side of it. It gives me a new look. And because my hair is a lot thinner now, there were certain hairstyles that I just couldn't even think of, of having because my hair was so thick. So I can now explore a few, you know, uh, hairstyles, I guess, whilst it's still on the thin side. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna have fun with it, basically. I'm not looking forward to when it starts to grow back. <laughs> I'm gonna look like the Goblin King, I think. It's all gonna be sticking up with like long, my normal long bits coming down. So let's hope that part is short lived, so yeah i don't think the mullets are back in in fashion yet i don't think i'm just keeping an eye on the comments as well thank you everyone i am really pleased with it it really does kind of just gives you know when it freshens up your look i guess it really does so i'm really pleased with it so Anyways, enough about my hair. We could talk about the weather. Anyway, I'm, I'm almost done with this bit. And then we can move on to the next stage. So normally when I would be uh, filming this and not going live, I would actually probably speed this up and you can get a nice little tinkle of music. Oh, talking of music, if you hear anything, any loud music or anything like that, that might be Mr. G downstairs because he's discovered that the, uh, the two cellos... Um, were live earlier they might still be live now but yeah they had a concert in in australia sydney australia um so yeah they're broadcasting from there so if you hear some noisy cellos in the background that's exactly what it is okay that is all done so the majority of the work for this is basically in your prep work so choose your cardstock die cut all of your frames and then die cut all of your trellises and then go along <clears throat> and pop on your red tape definitely red tape will be your friend for this and um and then you're ready to go so i've got here this is the base i'm gonna pop that aside because i need to talk to you about what makes my brain really hurt and that is putting this together i'm not gonna sugarcoat it i'm not gonna lie or anything like that i'm gonna be completely upfront with you this trellis sorry this uh, set absolutely confuses me so even though i designed it every time i go back to it i'm like how do i put this together again because yeah okay so i have this i keep this in my envelope you could be wondering how far i got with this if i'm gonna get confused with all this stuff but yeah things like this do confuse me but I, I set tricks and reminders for myself so I make I can make it easier for myself so I suggest if things like this get to you and confuse you do this okay so I keep this in my envelope this is a reminder of how this goes together because I've put this set together a couple of times and I've put it together wrong we don't want to do that today so one I'd be highly embarrassed because it's a live video and two I don't have any spares so I'd have to do some more die cutting so anyways right so we have this in this orientation here. We have the tab here and the tab there. So let's mimic that. So we have here. So the easiest thing to do is lay it on the top, just like that. 
okay and then we'll move over to this one this one goes here so just to double test it there we go that is how that goes together so keep this as your reminder template and then you will know exactly how this goes together and also it it's really handy having that spare because you don't have to load up a photo on your phone or your computer or anything like that you can just refer to this and it's there okay so that is the first one so let's pop the next one together again it's up to you how you have all of your trellises you see it's really easy to get this wrong there we go this would probably be a good thing if you're teaching your children like younger children you know we need the shape sorters and the educational things like that I did actually really like those games when I was growing up so there we go I like to think I've progressed since then okay we can use these as our templates now and I do actually want to keep an eye on the comments as well I forgot to bring my phone up with me today so I'm having to you know kind of look to my side just double check I've got that right always double check and then we just pop these on as you can see it's super easy with tape now I do remember when this was on um, was it crate and craft a couple of weeks ago the terrarium was the most popular out of the um, Oasis adventure collection now um, if you haven't seen any of the Oasis collection um, yet I'm gonna show you a few more of the die sets um, at the end of this so stay tuned for that and also I was gonna say something but then it's gone yeah that happens to me a lot do, do, do. yes yeah, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on the comments and do a little bit of catch up um, oh yeah that was what I was gonna say um I do have tutorials now made for all of these and also the Art Deco collection as well. If you want to see the Art Deco collection, I have that next to me, just let me know. Um, all of those tutorials are out now. They're on my new channel, uh, Simply Made Crafts. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Um, I've left the links in the description box for all of the tutorials, so that will get you there. So it's super easy. And um, this one here, well, this video today will be uploaded to that channel too, because that's gonna have the um, the instructions for this one so what I'm doing now is I'm just popping this together it's quite self-explanatory after you kind of get to this stage okay but just be careful here that you don't accidentally pop it on that way can you see how these are exactly the same so it should be like that so it's it's this one here and then we turn it and we pop it there so it's all these little memory games of you know that's going to help you along on there so once I get this on I will show you how these all are supposed to match up this is another double check thing that you can tick off to make sure you have it in the right place so we have this tab here that goes here this tab here that goes here and then this tab here will join onto that one and if you want to do a complete dry run you can do So I've already folded all of these over. So these are all going to fit together just like that. Doesn't that look great already? That's looking really good. Okay, so let's carry on. I should probably keep an eye on the comments. Still, I've put my pokey tool down. Here it is. Okay, so um, Mrs. Alabama eat lots of protein. I do have quite a few chicken eggs because we have chickens. So I do eat a lot of that and I love chicken as well. Actually, I like to eat chicken. Don't tell my chickens that. And Audrey saying she said extreme hair loss from anesthetics from surgery. Oh, I can imagine that's quite a, a trauma to go through as well your body I guess your body is just like nope hi Beverly I take it Audrey that your hair kind of grows back again my 
longer. If you've just joined us, we are talking about a little bit of hair loss because I've I've had a lot of hair that's fallen out recently um, due to having COVID in December. So I've had all of my hair, my really long hair has been chopped off and I feel much better for it as well. So Oh, yeah, she's got... Mrs. Alabama is saying she's got the same short hairs growing back. Is it like the Goblin King? Ah, a dryer sheet. Yeah, porcupine look. Yes. <laughs> I might have to try that, but I am quite sensitive to like the um, smell, so I need to find a fragrance-free dryer sheet, I guess. Can you even buy those fragrance-free things? Okay, so you should have something that looks like this, which is far too big for to fit on my screen. As you can see, it's all symmetrical. It's got his little legs kicking out there, going around. And all we have to do now is just take all of these backings off. But like I said, the majority of this is literally the prep work. And again, definitely go for cardstock that is double sided so it doesn't have a white a white backing or anything like that because you're going to see the inside of this and the lantern if you can imagine how wonderful this is going to look if you make a whole bunch of these and they'll be like hanging from the tree or if you're having a garden party you know you can make a whole bunch of white ones uh, for a wedding as well you can paint them if you use like the special gesso as well and maybe even pop on some crackle paste that would look really good too right, let's get all of these off this is where I'm likely to get this glued to myself and then to something else so this is one of the risky things about taking all of your backing off at the same time okay so I would like to go live again next week and I would love to know what you guys would like me to make. Should I go for another die set construction or something like um, a mini album from scratch perhaps? Let me know in the comments. And if you're watching on the replay, let me know in the comments as well. So I would just love to know. Okay, so we're now ready to pop this together. Right, so we're gonna pop all these pentagons together first and then we're gonna play with these diamonds afterwards and I'm going to stop before I pop the last one in because I need to trim uh no if I was going to be making this one with an open face you only need four of these diamonds and then you would trim off one of the um the tabs here but because mine's going to be completely enclosed I'm going to leave off popping it together on the last tab I'm going to pop in my lights it's a complete dry run in my head now and then I can seal it okay we'll do it that way and then I'll probably have to glue gun this here at the back there so that uh, this way as you can see we've got the screws here I want that facing outwards so that it'll be glued to the back there we can take the screws out to change the batteries so there's no fiddling around with taking things apart and things. Right, so before I glue this to myself, I'm gonna pop these together. So it's already sticking to me, but this is just simply just popping it together. Ah, there we go, it's sticking to things already. See again this is super easy once you've kind of worked out where all the little pieces go so if you love these sorts of puzzles and things and get your mind working then this is going to be great now i did actually accidentally glue this to my glass mat when i was at creating craft a couple of weeks ago so i'm hoping i don't repeat that today luckily it was a glass mat and it was fine Okay, so next is our oh, these di uh, diamonds here. So we're going to start off with the bottom bit of the diamond first, and literally that's it. Just pop that again, and then we can go up the side and right up to the top. See how easy that is. 
these make absolutely beautiful gifts as well you can even line this with vellum you can line it with acetate to make it super strong now i do have a tutorial on the helen griffin uk channel so i have two channels now i need to tell you where to go to find things um, but i do have a tutorial on the uh, the Helen Griffin UK channel on just the basic lantern I'm popping in some acetate and things so I'll show you how to cut the acetate out because it is a shaped diamond okay we're getting to the last piece now okay so I'm going to actually oh I've got a little bit of a red tape there I forgot to take off the backing from there we go get rid of that um, lights so these are just ordinary wire lights these are from Amazon I haven't linked them because I'm sure you can source your own there's loads to choose from on Amazon or if you prefer to buy somewhere else have a look around these are basically the battery powered wire lights um, they come in like packs of 10 probably for about 10 pounds and they just turn on like that and they take the CR is it CR2 big big button batteries they take two of those so you can buy the refill batteries quite cheaply as well so it is quite an affordable um, way of doing things for lights so let's pop these in here and it does come with a little bit of a, a plastic bit at the end I'm just going to pop that just here I'm going to just make sure I have that in the right place. I mean, this will be visible. If you want, you can cover the back there with some um, of matching cardstock so that when you're looking from the front, it kind of disappears. Okay, so I'm happy with how that now looks. So we can now close that together. I'm going to, I'm going to do the battery side first so that it just stays in place. And then um, I don't have my hot glue gun heating up but that's something that I can do a little bit later on. There we go. And then put the last one in. And there we have our lantern finished. So as you can see, the construction was really quite quick and I'd already done my prep work so um, the prep work took around about 20 minutes to 25 minutes and I need to put this back in the envelope so I'm just going to quickly show you how you can lay these out on your machine as well I I do prefer to use my A4 machine um, but all of these will fit individually through a standard sized big shot so if you have just one of the smaller machines you can pop them through so pop that on there cut it out and then run it through so this is how i would lay these out so for the first run i've got a die missing no i don't have a die missing okay so i would run these through for the first three there is a way of putting, popping these on together to get the first three through and then the second pass you would fresh sheet and then you'd run this through if you want to you can add another one of these trellises at the bottom more or less you can get about three per a4 and then you have off cuts here that you can you know keep for stamping on using as mats and things like that so that can go into your scraps and then run those through so that is how i would do that and if you don't have a large machine again these will fit through a standard big shot so let's have a quick look here there we go I just need to feed that in that th oh, that went down a bit too low but I can fix that just push that in a bit more there we go so here is our lantern isn't that really nice can you imagine that being on even for Christmas that would look really nice and I, I'm just thinking garden parties here as well as table centers and I just think that's going to be so much fun okay so oh I did forget to mention actually it's the last day of this offer but I think it's uh, I've got the poster here so I'll pop that up here it is so there's a free paper pack worth 11.99 um, when you spend 20 pounds on the Oasis adventure as well and let me just see if I can grab the paper 
here it is back to here here we go this is the oasis days and night paper pack i absolutely love this i've had a good go at uh using this already so we've got the ombre there now if you tuned in last week when i was live with lou we went through everything so this is what you can get for free when you spend over 20 pounds on the new collection so that that's the full ombre there isn't that so pretty okay so i'm going to go through some of the other samples from this collection now so grab my box there we go i am keeping an eye on the comments as well some of you have said that they want to have mini albums for next week so would you like a die set mini album or something that you can completely make from a paper bag or um like a scoreboard make or something like that so let me know okay so first up we have the arabian nights lantern i absolutely love this one so a lot of you would have seen these last week if you tuned in so there, there's that made out of gold it cuts it all out in one piece the tutorial for this is linked down below and it will have all of the materials and the die set that i used there so that's linked down below I made quite a few of these actually because <laughs> I've a couple of them this one was demoed on um Crate and Craft so this one was demoed uh for last week so there's quite a few there I could probably have myself a little party with those and then we have the um the Moroccan trinket chest I absolutely adore this one it is so cute it really is cute if you look at that isn't that the perfect table favour and it closes as well you only need to add glue at the bottom and on one of the side tabs to get that together and again here it is with a bow on the top as well so again the uh, tutorial for this one is linked down below and I had a bit of fun there with some gold embossing powder as well there we go and then moving on to the is it desert days i think it's called desert days cube box i absolutely love this we've even got tiny little feet on there i've lost the sentiment let's pop that on it's fallen off a couple of times now because these things have traveled they've been up to stockport and back they've been to peterborough and back <laughs> there we go pop that on okay yeah so i did have some fun here with some uh, gold heat embossing powder now this bottom box is kept in place by this ribbon that goes through the two holes at the top i'll undo one so that you can have a quick look i absolutely love these they are so lovely and I cannot wait to use this at Christmas and I'll show you why in a second. So again, these are perfect table favours and they open up like that. Ah, so Audrey's saying pretty much it grows back. So her hair does grow back, but she keeps it short. Sometimes it's a lot less hassle having it short okay let's see if I can tie a bow I've already trimmed these down to the right size so it makes it a little bit harder but let's see how we go there we go there we go ah. okay so if you're wondering why I'm doing this video right now and not last week is because last week was a double launch now those things basically mean double the amount of work and um, just keeping up with everything basically but also for you guys as well because it's like bang one collection bang here's another collection all in the same day so it's a little bit you know look at this and look at that so I'm just breaking it down a little bit as well but today is the last day to get that free paper pad okay here is what I'm excited about 
this cube box here can also be turned into a chest of drawers so if you're thinking advent calendar because I'm thinking that too you can make 24 or 25 of these boxes and you have yourself some advent calendar drawers now if you do actually um, have this set or get this set and make something especially if it's Christmas related I would love to see it so make sure that you're part of the Facebook group as well which is paper crafting with Helen Griffin so um, you can just type that in paper crafting with Helen Griffin and you'll find the group there so um, just share your things in there and we all love to see because some great ideas come from that group as well so again the tutorial for uh, I think it's uh, this one or this one is um, linked down below I can't remember which box I made now I need to glue that into place because it keeps popping up but I, I love the fact that I've covered those two holes there with just another mat from that trellis and you get four different trellis choices with the cube and you get four different trellis choices with this one here as well so we have like the snowflake so these are all lovely like Arabian themed Moroccan style trellises so you get four of the main trellises and then you get four of the different top trellises as well for the top section and this is a self opening and closing lantern as well so you only have to add glue to the bottom and to the side and then the rest is just self closing from the top and you get a loop as well so you can even use these as bases for a helium balloon if you have balloons you can weight it down because these things are about a couple of pound I think I, mean, I went to buy some in December and they'd run out so I was hunting around all the shops trying to find some balloon weights when really I should have come home and made my own because I, I think I had this die set back then as well okay so that just opens up like that so to get this back together we pop this up there so yeah, it was my son's birthday just before Christmas and I was feeling well enough to kind of go to town and he wanted balloons as well for his birthday he wanted big balloons for his birthday so I went and got to uh, went to town and bought some balloons, and then I eventually I found some weights and I had some leftover weights from my daughter's um, birthday, but they were pink. But he didn't mind. He didn't mind at all. He he liked the balloons. <laughs> so I'm just going to pay some attention now to um, the comments and see what you guys are up to. So um, Sharon's asking some. Um, should love a mini album with dyes. So I will have some um, other mini albums coming up. There is definitely going to be a mixture of everything, especially with the mini albums. I have so many ideas and it's going to be a good few weeks now before my next launch, which is actually going to be a mini album, I believe. So it's going to be the next size. I don't know which size it's going to be, um, but that will be in a few weeks time. Um, possibly even into April so I've just been busy scrolling away this week just doing my die cutting and getting things ready for the samples because um, I like to kind of prepare myself that way okay so I do need to do part four for this so the tutorials for this particular album this one was made from scratch there's no dies made with this and I have popped in a few kinetic elements in here like this twist and pop now I've used um, made to surprises let's move this over made to surprises uh, twist and pop I think it's the five by seven but I do have a tutorial on how to make this by itself so you, you can make that without using the dies but it's it's a lot easier with the dies I'll tell you that okay and uh, what else did we do we did some decorating here and I just went through my thought processes so there's there's three videos out already for this album so I'm looking forward to doing part four I'm thinking I'm going to do um, I can't think of the name now but a pinwheel card that's it you're getting sneak peeks now so I do have 
the pinwheel card here obviously I'm going to be using the papers that match the collection but this is going to look great just uh, let's choose a it's going to look great just stuck there and I'll I'll do something with the belly band to make it different but this is going to open up just like that and we can pop a photo in there so this one this one was made using my die set but you can actually make this manually I believe with the envelope punch board so there is a tutorial on my channel to make this as well but again it's so much easier just to use the die especially if you have a large format machine as well so you do need a large format machine for this so that is going to be part four and I'll carry on doing a little bit more decorating and getting that finished off so uh, thank you Audrey she likes both collections so she's ordered the art deco last week ah uh, yes ah uh, I can't believe how fast the art deco paper sold out um I think it was Saturday evening it might it could have even been Friday night yeah I just couldn't believe how fast it went so I'm hoping fingers crossed I'm hoping that they get those back yes I'm hoping it will be so yes so yes if you do get this collection I would love to see all of your makes so so hi Stampin' Oasis, so she loves a good Helen Griffin mini album, so I've got two types here, we can do the, the dies or the um, made from scratch. I don't really have a preference because I like to do both, but I really do like using the dies as well because it really does kind of help with decision making and just choosing your papers and everything like that. So um, does anyone have any questions? doesn't have to be about this collection if you have any other questions about anything else let me know especially if you're watching on the replay as well I'm just going to pop this back over here I'm going to be I'm going to use a bit of glue just to get that down I absolutely love that terrarium if you guys remember my other terrarium it was like the big square like um apex one it was like a little building i'm thinking about making another one of those as well i do have some house plants that i would like to cover so um i'm thinking i'm going to pop one of those together as well i absolutely love that that looks really good and it looks really good just on a shelf with a little bit of ambient lighting and it looks really great so okay so this one was a short sharp um live i'm afraid um two weeks ago i went on live and that took one hour 50 minutes we made oh i did forget to say just trying to find it i've put the album away somewhere there it is two weeks ago we made this so if you want to catch up on that the offer is still there actually i think i still have this offer loaded let's see if this one there we go the offer is still available I think it's 42 99 um, but you can get that offer that's in the Simply Made Crafts section as well we made this beautiful album and the offer for that deal is still on so this was for World Book Day this was a lot of fun this was a very long video so and uh, luckily this one was a quick make so um, I do like my quick makes as well as my long makes it depends on what sort of day that you are having okay so the tutorial for that one is on the Helen Griffin UK webs um, channel it is one hour 52 minutes so it's a complete start to finish mini album tutorial on using uh, my dies for that and you get so much value in this I know a lot of you went for this I know it was popular because craft stash actually told me how popular this was um, here it is again so you get the three die sets there the small binding the portrait um, mini album and the portrait editions so this was very very popular so I'm super I'm actually super pleased that it was popular and that you all enjoyed it as well so okay so that is on my channel and there is a larger version of this that's on craft world but all the links are on the video for this mini album as well so I'm going to be uh, popping off now, so I've got a weekend of gardening ahead of me, 
Um, what else? Um, probably a bit of tidying up. I'm tempted to make some bread and I'm probably going to wash my hair. I'm t I don't mind telling you guys, I'm going to wash my hair on Sunday. You know when you've had your hair done, which was yesterday for me, and then you want to kind of make it last as long as possible before you wash it because you want to enjoy it how the uh, the hairdresser styled it and everything so I'm going to hold off until Sunday and I'm going to wash my hair and then I'm going to just do my best to kind of dry it the way he dried it um, I do have the Babyliss brush airbrush thing the the round brush thing that blows air I'm going to try that because it, it didn't work on my super long hair very well so I'm going to see what it's like on my short hair see how that goes but anyway that is my weekend planned I've caught up on all my washing today so I think I'm ready. I'm ready for Monday, I'd say. And it's only just Friday night, so I'm feeling pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> okay, so thank you everyone for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's short and sweet, but um, that's the way it goes uh, with long ones and short ones. So hopefully next Friday it will be a proper, at least an hour long uh, for next Friday. So thank you everyone for joining me today.